So today is all about money. So we're talking money, we're talking budget, we're talking finance, we're talking pay, we're talking pounds. Pounds. So basically, how much do you earn as a nurse in the UK? I've had so many questions, you know, flooding my inbox about Melvis, how much does a nurse really earn? I've heard this, I've heard that. Can you just clear this up, please? So that's why I thought I should do this video about, you know, pay. So, how much does a nurse really earn in the UK? First, I would like to say that um, the NHS is the um, NHS agenda for change, pay skills. So when you're a newly qualified nurse, you usually start at band five. So that is, um, so all newly qualified nurses start at the same level, which is band five. So you can Google it, NHS agenda for change, pay skill. You'll see that. And then also, um, so depending on what level you are, your experience, your grade, your role, you know, where you live, all of these different things influence how much you actually earn. So, for example, if you live and work in London, you earn a bit more compared to somebody who lives and works in the Midlands. But it just depends. Again, if you live in inner city London, you earn a bit more compared to somebody who is living in outer city London. So it's, guys, it, you know, it's complex. There's so much to it. Just read about it. So, I would like to say that from my experience as um, a nurse, I would just like to share my experience with you. Um, when I qualified as a nurse, what happened and how I felt like my first paycheck as a nurse. So that's so what we're talking about here, my first paycheck. So um, you've gone through uni, you're all excited and you're thinking, oh yes, this is the end, this is graduation. Yes, we did it. You're waiting for the paycheck, guys. That is what you're like. Oh my God, this is a big moment. That is my first paycheck. Expectations are high. Emotions are flying high. So what do you get? So my first experience with... Um, <laughs> actually, it's quite funny when I think about it now. So I went to work basically. Um, went into the staff room. We had our pay slips there. Went through quite a few pay slips. Got mine out. I was all excited and I said to myself... I'm not going to open this now. I'll get home, have a good shower, you know, have something good to eat and then open this to see exactly how much I have earned now that I'm a nurse. So what did I do? I kept my pay sleep. When I got home in the evening, I had an amazing, relaxing shower, you know, and then after that, I rang my favorite Italian restaurant. I ordered, you know, all sorts. I was like, I've got money now. I'm a registered nurse. I am a professional guys i can afford whatever i want so that's what i did i ordered all of this had an amazing meal and then i opened the pay slip so on so what basically the nhs pay slip um the bottom right hand corner that's where you have your net pay so that is exactly how much you're going to get in the bank that's what is on there that, that's where my focus was guys so i had a look and when i saw the amount i was like oh you know i think you know, I've, I think I've taken someone else's pay slip here. So what did I do? I said, okay, I'm going to check the name at the back. So I checked the name and it was my name. I was like, oh, there must be something wrong here. And I was thinking, oh my God, you know, is this right? Is it not right? I was, I was like, okay, I think there's something wrong here. I'm going to wait till tomorrow, you know, the next day. At nine o'clock, I'm going to ring payroll, you know, the deal with all the finance and pay and all of that. I'm going to ring them and just to say, I think you made a mistake with my pay. I'm now a qualified nurse. Probably, you know, you've, you've got a wrong banding or something of that sort. That was what I, you know, that's what came to my mind. So I was like, Melvis, keep calm. So I went to bed, you know, as you can imagine, I didn't sleep all night. You know, my heart was racing. I was thinking, okay, okay, nine o'clock. So the next day I rang payroll, nine o'clock, I was there and I said, you know, this is what happened. I think there's a mistake. You know, there was an amazing lady. Um, who, who actually took my call. She was so professional, so calming and reassuring. She was like, Melvis, I can reassure you. I've had a look. You know, that is your pay and it's all correct. There's no mistake at all. And I said, are you sure about this? And she said, yes, I am sure. You know, that is, that is definitely your pay. So that's what you will get. So then I realized that that was actually my pay, guys. And, you know, I, 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 I sat in my room and I, had, I shed a few tears, if I have to be honest about this, I shed a few tears. I thought about, you know, the essays that I wrote at university. I thought about, um, you know, the placements. I thought about the tuition fees. 
I thought about the promises I had made to myself and to my friends and to my family. I thought about, you know, the sacrifices that my mother, for example, had put in to ensure that I got through the university, you know, assisting me with my tuition fees and my rent and, you know, things like that. And I was like, really? Anyway, I thought about all of that and guys i just i couldn't believe i couldn't believe what i was saying so um i i i stopped for a while i stopped all day i didn't eat you know i was really like oh my goodness you know what have i done you know i'm passionate about this nursing but at the same time guys i've got bills to pay you know i've got bills to pay i've got responsibilities so anyway that was the day gone the next day i was at work so i went into work and you know, I was, still, I was still newly qualified, so I wasn't working by myself. I was working with a qualified nurse um, who was kind of guiding me through because, guys, it's quite different when you qualify from when you're a student nurse. So what did I do? As I walked into the ward, um, you know, the, this nurse saw me and she was like, Oh, Melvis, good morning. She was all excited. Oh, good morning. You know, we're working together in Bay X, she said. And I literally just stood there and I just cried and she was like oh what's happened you know she took me into the staff room sat me down she was like oh i know it's hard to be a newly qualified nurse you know we're here to support you you know don't worry and i was thinking you know and i said to her i was like no you've been really supportive and i really appreciate it she was like it's fine you know just just let us support you and all of that so we carried on working so what had happened to me guys what basically happened to me was that I found out that I was earning as a qualified nurse after three years in university, graduating with a first class degree in adult nursing, working in London. My basic pay was just over £10 per hour. £10 per hour. Just to say that when I was a student nurse, um, I was working for a company as a healthcare assistant, so doing support work. So this company was paying me between 12 to 17 pounds, depending on where I worked and things like that. So I found myself um, from a student nurse earning more to a newly qualified nurse earning a lot less than I did, you know, as a student. And... I was disappointed. I was very disappointed. And I thought to myself, well, you know, I came into this for the passion. I came into this because I think, you know, nursing is for me. But at the same time, you know, how do I get out of this? And I was thinking, you know, can I, can, will I be able to afford rents? Would I be able to travel? You know, all the things that I had wanted to do as, you know, somebody, I could like, guys, I'm, I don't know how to even talk about this. I couldn't believe it. My friends and I had planned that that weekend, you know, our first kind of payday weekend, we're going to go out, we're going to have fun, we're going to do this and do that, and we'll book a trip abroad and this and that. None of us did that. We're all extremely, extremely disappointed. So, this is not to say that um, if you're thinking of doing nursing now, you shouldn't. No, you should do you know, if it's for you, it's for you. This is just to say that the pay is not what, you know, it's not what it seems. You know, it's not what it seems. And you have to be aware of this. You have to be extremely disciplined, you know, extremely disciplined to to, to kind of plan your finances and, 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 and kind of get by. But all hope is not lost because there are many other ways that you can kind of enhance your earnings as a nurse. So that is the good thing about it, which we will talk about subsequently. But as far as your basic pay is concerned here in the UK and working for the NHS is not the best. It isn't the best. I know some people say, oh, if you're a nurse, you should be, you, you know, you're there to look after patients, you should be contented. But guys, you know, surviving is difficult when you're just surviving and you're not really, you know, able to have any savings and it's, it's a challenge getting through your rents. It's a challenge with your mortgage. Like, you don't, like, how do you even get a mortgage? So, 
we'll talk about these things subsequently guys and thank you so much for listening do have a good day and stay safe bye